Hi there. Today I want to show you how you take the uh, data information that we've got about the places in the school and we find its actual coordinates and we collect that information. Now if you look here in the uh, in the website um, in the augmented reality at PLC section you'll see that here's the links that I've put for you so far and you'll notice there's one here called the PLC Sydney POI list positions of interest points of interest and when you click on that it actually opens this it opens this spreadsheet that you've all seen before hopefully now a couple of things I've added let me show you this I've just added over on the side here a column called your name and what I'd like you to do is to just put your name uh, next to two or three of these um, uh, points of interest that you've got here. Now having a look through here these need to be tidied up a bit so for example school shop needs to be capital S capital S studio theatre needs to have capitals there um, science amphitheatre I've marked some of these things I've marked this one as a duplicate because somewhere else down here Frida Whitlam science amphitheatre there are a couple of double ups so uh, I will need you as a group to go through this list and make sure that everything is there only once and um, you've got everything in that list that you need to have in that list. There are things there like the history staff room and the science staff room for example they're going to be very hard to actually um, create the poise for because they're in a building they're on the second and third floors they're they're kind of hard to indicate so you might have a think about how appropriate some of these things are we probably don't need everything in the school but we need the main stuff um, as always this is your project not mine uh, although I'm driving it with you I'm going to leave the actual uh, execution of it up to you guys I think that's very important what we need to do is for each one of these points here uh, these these places we need to collect this information you can see this one here for the aquatic center has already been done so it's minus three three point eight eight one four two four which is a latitude coordinate and this is a longitude coordinate. Now if you're not sure what I mean by latitude and longitude coordinates um, then I recommend you have a look at let me just move this out of the way um, there is a thing in here called skills you'll need to learn and if you take a look in there you will see that I have included this thing here called understanding latitude and longitude and there's a little explanation there about latitude and longitude and I really recommend you take a look at that video if you're not sure what latitude and longitude is because it's important you understand that um, so take a look at that video uh, then in this section here Google using Google Maps to create poise is where you're watching this video that you're looking at right now okay so let me just show you how you do it Let's go back to the uh, the main page and just scroll down to here and you'll see that I put a link in here that says Google map of the school and when you click that link it opens in a new tab or a new page uh, a Google map of the school and I'm just going to get rid of this bit because it's just in the way and you can see that there is the school now I don't know how good you are at reading maps but when you zoom in on this and you can zoom in just by using the uh, the scroll button on the mouse or there is actually sort of a plus and a minus button over here so you can zoom in on the map so as you move around here you should be able to identify certain things for example this is Drummond Field this therefore must be Hamilton Hall uh, these are the tennis courts that makes this the AKT that makes this the Aquatic Center you can see the roundabout here you can see the Rose Garden there um, there's the science amphitheater so you can start to identify all the different bits and pieces and you'll need to look for things like the Croydon which you'll find somewhere where's the Croydon you guys can tell me where the Croydon is there it is there so here's the Croydon here's the year three classrooms so you need to spend some time looking at this map and familiarizing yourself now once you've done that once you've had a look at the map there's this neat new feature in Google Maps you, it's not turned on by default so you'll need to turn it on if it's not working for you and it's called lat drop lat long and basically if you right click so here's the tennis courts if you right click you can say drop lat long marker and it puts a marker on the tennis courts with the with the correct latitude and longitude positions now that won't show up for you by default so you need to turn it on and here's how you do it you go to this button here where it says new and you click it and you'll see here are some new features now I've enabled a lot of them but the only one you really need to worry about is this one called lat long marker and make sure it's set to enable okay so you can turn the others on or off if you like I don't really mind but this one here lat long marker should be on and then you save those changes 
and once you've done that then now hopefully when you right click anywhere on the map you have the option to drop a lat long marker so for example let's say I was wanting to uh, indicate the position for the roundabout well here's another question for you which part of this rather large area here are you going to choose as the single point for the roundabout are you going to do right in the center are you going to do the uh, the gate from Boundary Street like whereabouts I'd probably suggest you do it right in the center but you can have that discussion you need to decide whereabouts you're going to drop these markers so let's say we want it right there uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more just to be really accurate so zoom in there you go that's about as close as I can get so I'll zoom over here and I'm going to take my marker and right click right there and say drop lat long marker and you can see it's put the position in there for me now I need to take my mouse oops I need to now I don't know whether I can copy that different browsers respond different ways Internet Explorer might be different you need you, you can check that but that is the coordinates there so you need to now take this point over here and so what are we looking at we're looking at the uh, have we got one here for the the roundabout the John Foley roundabout okay so here it is here so it's minus three three point eight eight one two four one six and you can see I've added that in there and you do the same for the other one so really important you enter these numbers accurately uh, otherwise of course the points will be off so that's your job for today you need to get the uh, the map up on the screen there's a link in the uh, edge in the uh, enable course there so you can do that and then you need to enable the um, uh, the lat long marker and remember you do that by going up here to new and finding it and turning it on and then you simply very accurately drop markers where you need to on your map and then transcribe the points over here all right does that make sense I will be checking later this afternoon and on the weekend to see how much of this gets done I would like all of this done by the weekend okay so if you haven't got that done you need to get it done um, and you also need to just remember put your name down here next to at least two points possibly three um, some of you might like to step up and do more than that it doesn't matter I just need to make sure that every single one of these points gets done so this column these two columns and the last column need to be complete we'll uh, talk about what you put in this other columns these other columns uh, next week see you then